One of the goals to building web applications is to have a fluid feeling. That is, you want your users to not even think about the actual fact that there's software running your system. You want it to feel like they're just interacting with something new or something that is digital, but it feels very organic. And that is what AngularJS allows us to do. It allows us to make our web applications feel a lot more organic. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Angular version 1.5, and of course that's AngularJS. This is a very popular version of Angular. It's not Angular 2 because that's still in beta at the time of this recording. It's AngularJS. This is very, very popular all across the world, and it's actually supported by Google. Google created the project and is really continuing the great work as making Angular a lot better. So in this one, we are gonna be going through the basics of Angular as far as building our own blog in Angular. And I'm gonna show you a lot of really cool, interesting things that Angular does really well. And then at the end of it, we're actually gonna connect it to a RESTful API service using Django as our backend. So we're gonna be using a very, very basic Django RESTful API service so we can have a database and actually have data stored somewhere that, that our blog can actually come from. So this is the first of many J Angular projects and Django projects that we're gonna be building here in the future because we look at Angular as that really, really nice complement to Django. It's actually a really nice complement to any backend system once you actually build that RESTful API. All of this stuff's gonna make a whole lot more sense once you actually get into it, but the goal with Angular, I believe, is to build a more robust user experience, and you do that by using JavaScript, which is something that is loaded in their web browser, so it feels a lot more organic. It feels much more like they're working with something that's, that's outside of the digital world. Now, of course, that's not true, but Angular helps us in so many ways, which you'll find out very, very soon. My name is Justin Mitchell. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you throughout this series. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them in, in, uh, below the video so other people can benefit from them as well. Um, these questions are things that often arise, and we want to help you answer those questions. And if you see the answer to something, please definitely chime in and give your input as well, um, because this is a community. We're trying to make this better for everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the series.